Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the best export settings for YouTube when you're using Final Cut Pro X. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos and today I'm just gonna answer a question I got recently. Someone asked, what are the best export settings when you don't have Compressor? Compressor is a program that works with Final Cut Pro X. It's actually made uh, by Apple and it does a really nice job of uh, compressing your videos so you can get them uploaded to Vimeo or YouTube, wherever you know it's going, the video is going. Uh, so how do I do it? Um, well, I'm gonna show you how I used to do it before, straight out of Final Cut Pro X, and this will help you save uh, space in your hard drive, but also uh, I, I feel like you don't need to, to always use the highest resolution when you're going to like Vimeo or YouTube because they're gonna do their own compression. So without further ado, let's take a look at how to export a video with Final Cut Pro X. We are in a project I released a couple days ago. And uh, first I wanna show you the different settings I have here. My default is compressor. This is what I use for most of my videos, like I said, but uh, some people don't have compressor and I have a video on how to use compressor, but it's, it's a $50 program that's made by Apple and it's really awesome. Uh, but if you don't have it, then what I would do is, first of all, just go to your master file. You probably have this already listed by default if you go to the share. And the only thing you need to change under settings is the video codec. It defaults to source, which is Apple ProRes 422. I would just uh, compress it or use a codec H.264 because it reduces the, the file size significantly. So that's it. You just click next and you export. Uh, so again, uh, the difference in file size, I'll show you in a little bit. So now let's say you want it uh, to have this by default. What you can do is add destination and I already have this here. I, I, you know, I added this. Let's uh, delete it for now. Let's add a destination and drag this over to the left. Export file and the video codec, instead of uh, same as source, we are going to choose H.264 because it gives us a better well, it gives us a smaller file size and that's it. That's all you have to do. Just exit out of here, click share, export file. And if we look at the settings, it'll default to the codec H.264, which is what we want. Let me cancel out of this because I've already exported. Uh, let me just show you the difference in file size. I've, I was actually experimenting with all of these. So the master with the ProRes, you can see the file size is six gigabytes. Uh, the, this is using 390 is using compressor, Apple compressor and using H.264, it's 450 megabytes. This is the same two. I use the same settings for these two. I was just experimenting. So yes, compressor does a better job of compressing. And I would say the video quality is right about the same, but anyways, if you don't have compressor, just use the H.264 codec and it'll do a really good job. If you're just gonna upload to YouTube, I don't think you need to pass it through Handbrake unless you have really slow internet, or I don't know, for whatever reason, you just don't wanna take up space, uh, you can go ahead and do that. I don't think there's a problem, but if it was just if it was me, I would just upload it uh, straight to YouTube if I don't have compressor and I only have what, what's built into Final Cut Pro X. So that was easy enough, but if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask away. Also, if you know of better settings to use, or if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, this is just what I use and what I found is the best settings for me, for what I'm trying to do. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one.